To make the model, you need to add a plan. So shift A, add a plan. And then go to the top view, go to the edit mode. And now you need to add few loop cuts like this. And then select the center words and then control B and then add a bevel on this word. So control B and then press V to add the bevel on the word. Give it the right width and then you need to add the loop cuts like this. Select these words, right click, connect vertex path and create a topology at there. Called base topology. After that you need to select the center faces, use loop tool and create a circle at there. Choose insert operation and then delete these faces. Now the next thing you need to add the array modifier, give the factor along the y axis and then count will be 3. And now you need to shift D to duplicate it and then you need to give the right position to it like this. You can press and hold the control key so you will get the snapping option. Then merge option should be on and then you can apply this array modifier. And select both object and then join them together. And now you need to select all words and then you need to press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Now you need to add the one more array modifier so just add that array modifier and merge option should be on and this time the count will be 4. Means we will get the 16 words for the cylinder. And now you need to apply this array modifier. Go to the object mode, select everything and merge by distance. Double words will get merge. In case any words will be there then. Now you need to select the edges. So just select these edges and then press F and then add loop cut like this. And now you need to create the right topology at there. Now you need to select these faces, shift D to duplicate it and move it with the by pressing G and you can press and hold the control key for the snapping option and now you need to fill these gaps. If you want more smooth shading then you can subdivide this model at this stage and then you can continue with the next steps. And now you need to add one circle, add a Bezier circle and then add array modifier on that plane and now you need to choose that Bezier circle in that array modifier. Now you need to adjust the scale of the circle or you can adjust the scale of that plane and just try to convert it into the cylinder like this. Means you need to connect both end of that plane and when you get the satisfactory results then you can apply that array modifier. Then you can apply that curve modifier so just apply that curve modifier and now just go to the object mode select everything and press M and merge by distance double words will get merged and you will get one object at there that cylindrical object then you can hide that curve that Bezier curve Bezier circle set the origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3d cursor and now you need to add one more cylinder and this time we will add the 16 word cylinder because our first cylinder have 16 words that's why now you need to adjust the scale of the cylinder as per the cylinder of the first then you need to add the shrink wrap modifier on that boolean cylinder then you need to choose that cylinder for the shrink wrap modifier the second cylinder and then you can apply that shrink wrap modifier and you will get the perfect snap perfect wrap on your cylinder And then select everything and then E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal or you can press E to extrude it and then you can press Alt S to adjust the scale along the normals. Then you need to select these faces and just create a little bit of design on the model. Like this you can press F to fill the gap and same thing you can do here just create a little bit of details at there. Use the insert operation and create that tapper shape and do you can do the lots of things. Then you need to add the necessary loop cuts on the model to maintain the form. Then just try to get the decent look on your model and then you can add the subdivision surface modifier and increase its level up to 2. Then shade smooth it and your boolean cylinder is ready. If you are facing any kind of difficulty with the shading on that boolean then you don't need to worry about it you can manage that with the texturing. If you have subdivided at that plane level then you won't face more difficulty but you will get more high-risk model. 
because I want to create more details also that's why I didn't subdivide it. Then you need to select these faces like this after subdividing it one time. And then you need to use the loop tool here and just you need to create that another details. So press I for the insert operation and then just scale it down by pressing the Alt S along its normal and use the insert operation one more time and just create a little bit of details. And here I have taken the symmetry along the z-axis so I will get the same details from both sides means from the top and from the bottom. And then you can add the subdivision surface modifier. And now it's look pretty well. So in this way you can create this kind of model. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video take care.